Hello, everybody. The Cyber General. All right. We're back once again. Risk of Rain 2. We're playing Engineer this time, as I said. We're going to be rushing around through this, trying our best to find a way to unlock this new character. And see what else is new to the game. So, I want to apologize guys for yesterday, I wasn't able to post any videos due to it being the 4th of July. And well, I want to say for now, like, have, like whoever had a great 4th of July, hooray! <laughs> but yeah, I was out with my family, hanging out, enjoying the insanely hot weather. And trust me guys, I don't do good in the sun. I burn very easily. Like, uh, for example, I was only outside for like at least a few minutes and I was already turning red like a peach. What am I even thinking of? Like, I'm trying to think of apple or something. What the heck? But anyway, yeah, I was turning bright red. My arms, my legs, everything. And I and here's another thing, I had sunscreen on. I turned red really quickly, guys. But yeah. So how have y'all been? And then for another just relaxing session of playing games with all of you. I hope you guys have been enjoying my videos as well. There's the portal. Great, okay. It's always good to be a little bit faster, no matter who your character is. Always want to be faster. Uh, and I know it's hard. It's especially hard for me with YouTube because I'm not exactly the funniest guy anybody could ever meet. Literally. I mean, I have funny moments when I'm chatting with people, yeah. That's why... I've been thinking about trying to do live chats or whatever, streaming even. Doing a bit of both. Personal videos just to chat with you guys and hang out. Oh, and then other videos where we're just hanging out all together, playing with each other. I want to interact with you guys. Heck, I've been thinking about even moving to some big stream uh, horror games as well. Funny is not a thing that you can really work on, I know, and it's like, it, it's kind of hard for me, especially, to understand good comedy.
as I said. I want this I want this channel to be a show of development between who I am and how you guys see me. I want to have a better understanding of people's understanding of me and what they think of me and how I can improve and how I can just try and help people improve their life. As I said in my channel, it's about living life to the fullest. And to do that, I just gotta work with you guys as a community. I'm not the most sappiest of people out there, but I am being honest. I am being sincere and honest. There's so much stuff I want to do with you guys, hang out, and just understand life out of my own world perspective. Like, to you guys, you could see the world as it is. For me, the world doesn't seem exactly... Uh... Average. As people would say. A unique perspective tends to get in the way of a lot of things and, well, tends to make me look at things in a more strained way, I guess you could say. Oh, man, I should have done Uh, but yeah. chatting though, like... Heck. I want to know a lot of people's experience with trying to... Like, every person... Pe as pe person? People. Yeah. I want to know everybody's, like, kind of like, every YouTuber at least, like, every person who's trying to start YouTube's first experience is, like, trying to chat to themselves. Like, while doing YouTube, because it's like... What was the build up for them? What got them to actually open up to chatting? And, like, honestly, I'm feeling more and more insane just trying to talk to myself. But yeah. I've been thinking about even adding my whole family to this. I got my brother who speedruns, my sister who loves to cook, uh, my mom who's a uh, more experienced gamer than I am, but uh, doesn't play many genres other than Mario and Nintendo. And guys, if you want to see me play some Nintendo games, I'm able to record my Switch. I'm probably able to do only live videos, but heck, I'm still work figure out blah, 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 blah. Okay, my mind. Okay. Uh I'm still trying to figure out how my Elgato recording system is trying to work. I mean it works for what it is, I guess, if you're just trying to get videos out. But I have no means of editing.
How the heck do you get up there? Asking me to climb a physical mountain. So far we're doing good, guys. Let's get some critical shot. Turn around, stay still, there you go. Look at our guy. Yeah. Pretty dopey, but it's kinda cool. I'm gonna call this guy Mr. Indigo. If you're gonna ask me why, I don't know. Did that rhyme? But yeah. What makes a lizard really like, are they shooting these ghost fires out of their mouth? Like what makes a lizard do that? What is this little like you guys see this? What is this blue stuff that comes with these rocks? Strange. Very mysterious. Geronimo. Ooh. Okay. One thing I can tell you guys, always get those solar stingers. Or however you pronounce the dang name for that thing. Any type of fire rate for these things is for this guy is crazy. A full charge can do so much damage to a boss. And being able to hit them with a full charge of this is like mate amazing. And especially being able to speed up the how fast your turrets fire too. Like I had a round where I had like what, thirteen of these solar stingers here? And forgive me if I'm butchering the name. Oh, there they are. There, there she is. See how much damage is it? Like, here, guys. Look at the health bar. That was one load of shots. Another load. Another load. Another. Yet another. See how much damage comes out of it out here? Look. There they go. All dead. things that make this character perfect. The m spores or whatever, the, that mushroom thing that makes the healing aura around you, and um, just shoulder stingers. Maybe the guitar, the, it's electric. And it was electric for the guitar. Being able to do that kind of damage with it, and, like, being able to Back between enemy to enemy makes this like character perfect to those three things. Especially since his aim isn't like dead on all the time. Oh, I forgot that was a little bit. But yeah. Oh the I just saw the third heal. 
Does it heal automatically? Or does self protect? Oh, we're here again, okay. Um... You guys gotta admit, though, the music is very good. I always love some good music in any game. Like, if you could get a game to get me dancing for some music, then that's when you know you made a scary good game. Not as in, like, the game is scary and the whatever, I think you guys understand what I'm saying. Uh, we really don't need the clip. Like, we need 11 landmines. Ah, ah. I still do these videos, like, early in the morning, guys, so I'm like... Once again, I'm just waking up. Oh my god, that's the best thing we could have! Okay. Uh, basically, this weapon is only unlocked after you, uh, hit the chest in, like, the snow area? I mean, maybe the that it gives you, but, like, you have to... Like, I played this game, like, before they updated to this. So, basically, there was a snow area. Um, the snow area has this chest that if you see the timer... See the timer on the top right here? That timer tells you, uh, well, for one, how long you play, but for two, uh, if that timer passes ten before you get to the third zone, which is the snow area, back in the, uh, back before they updated, uh, that chest would be collectible, and it would hold this giant gun, and it does so much damage if you get direct, a, a direct hit on an enemy, but also damages it everything as it just travels along. So, you're hitting every... You know what? I think I'm just gonna show it off. See that? And it will explode once it hits a wall or an enemy. I hear a machine gun, and I don't remember machine guns being in this game. Other than the robot's nail gun. Hello? Hello? I'm just going around the circle, aren't right back. How the heck do I get up there? I hear it. Like, seriously guys, it's hard talking and playing at the same time. When YouTubers say it's hard to talk and play, it's hard to talk and play. You get, like, that's a thing that you actually have to physically get used to, talking and playing at the same time. Oh, um, hi? You are... okay, I guess I missed. Ow! Okay, nope. Uh, back up, please. Okay, you're dying. 3,300. Dang, dude. I'd actually never seen this number counter for how much damage it actually does. It's... That's a lot of damage. And judging by that orange health bar, or whatever, yellow or whatever, I guess I was mistaken. I thought Austin uh, we had a red health bar and like, uh, bosses that have been turned to just like a normal enemy just had, uh, yellow, or whatever, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, we have the super gun, and that means we're now really powerful. Dude, it's like, oh my god. It's like to that point to where it's like, okay, I get it, you're cool. 
but at the same time, it's like you don't want it to stop. Yeah, so, uh, if you guys ever had that feeling like, okay, I get it, you're super cool with like what you can do, but like, for real, like, you're going overboard. I'm pretty sure I've seen that happen a ton of times. This thing just, it's okay, I just noticed my character. That thing's just mounted on my head, apparently. You know, that thing fits pretty well with the engineer. Oh, hot. It's... You spin me right round, baby, right round. As I do that, I'm just gonna kill him right there because I don't like this guy. There we go. I really don't like that guy, so I'm just like, whenever I see him, I'm just gonna use that on him. Ah! Ice. I don't not like ice. They say do not. Oh, look at that. Med kit. Don't do that. I'm just gonna activate this. Have we been here too long? <gasps> fully upgrade, fully upgrade. They kind of fix it, like if you manage to get out of its range like before. Oh, Jesus! Oh! Uh, before, uh, no matter how close you get, this thing will start sucking you in. Even after it started its whole like procedure to do it, which was, needless to say, very annoying. But apparently now you can just get as close as you want, and it doesn't affect you. I mean, it made it difficult, but that was very annoying to have that constantly do that. Let's just get out of here, folks. But yeah, that, uh, I did not like seeing that guy with a machine gun. <laughs> that guy's scary. I saw how much help he was taken away per, like, second there, and it's like, okay, that's, uh, dangerous. Uh, red screen means lava worm. Lava work, yep. Rings by defeating these like lizard guys within the desert sewers. There's two of them, a nice and a fire, and they work together so well. The ice freezing them and the fire burning them. And I know what you guys are thinking. Ice and fire don't mix, but in this game, they do. <laughs> you get to freeze them, slow them down, and as well as just damage them with a bunch of fire and ice. I mean, maybe they fixed it. I haven't actually had time to... I'm actually gonna put, uh, 
Never mind. I was gonna say, I was gonna equip that and use it really quick, but apparently, like, they should, like, they should have that. It was like a small little thing to that. Like, it doesn't have to be big, it's just like, you could equip it, then you could use it really quick, and then put it back down if you want to exchange it. That's about it. Like, you don't have to use it multiple times. Nice little touch, but, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to argue. The game's already as nice as it is. Not too useful, but like if you do tend to sprint around a lot. I mean, I guess for the uh, huntress, that's it. Right. The huntress is really, really useful, guys. For the huntress, basically, she can constantly run and shoot at the same time. For the engineer, it's not as useful since he has to pause when he runs. Uh, I'm probably gonna buy infusion. Yeah, infusion will be the Whoa, where'd I get that much money from? Infusion's a pretty decent one to get. Uh, it doesn't seem to stack too well, unless if I'm, like, mistaken. Basically, what Infusion does, upon 100 kills, like, you like you kill up to 100 people, people before it stops really, really working. But, basically, it'll constantly, like, every time you get a kill, it will give you one more extra hit point. So, like, look at my hit points whenever I kill, like, something. Like this guy. Like almost. Now. I go up by one every time. I don't really think it works entirely for my turret at night. Like I get hit points. No. Doesn't look like it. I think it used to, actually. But they removed it due to how easy it was. You could just set up the turret and very strategic areas and they would be a little too easy to get your stuff set. Oh, well I just bought a magma worm. Well now I have to fight one, two. Ooh. Fire one more. Aim it. Ooh! <laughs> you know how hard it is to do something like that to a magma worm? Oh my god, it requires such a good Hello there. Hello there. I probably just saw that. I would have used it. But anyway, I'm just going to have my money converting to EXP so I can level up and do more natural damage rather than. Um, other damage. Just walking in our yeah. Come here. Oh, this is a Teza. That's like the Teza thing. That thing is amazing. Basically. I could aim anywhere I want, and that and that thing would fire a bolt of lightning that would strike down an enemy. This one might be a bit of a longer one, guys, because we're surviving a bit. Normally, I would end the video because, well, I don't want it to be too long, but. Hey, we're surviving, so that's a plus. 
Until I get a good pair of editing software, I know oh, that's a stone, that's a stone type. That guy is not going to be very friendly. I'm gonna... there. Is that gonna hit you? If he stays there, then it certainly will. Ooh! -hoo -hoo. That was a good hit. It worked. Yeah, that's not gonna go far enough. Uh, there's another mission. I haven't completed this mission yet, but like seeing where these guys are makes it perfect. I have to take you have to like stay next to the, these guys and you have to kinda like force them to run off the cliff and like, kill themselves. And there. You gotta force them to constantly do that. And after you do it enough times to you know, you'll get an you'll get an uh, achievement to get more stuff of the spawn in. That's what I like about this, the constant challenge as well. I got us a lot of gold. Ooh. Always getting those mushrooms are really good, trust me guys. But uh, as you guys could probably already guess, I'm really running out of stuff to chat about. Oh, like, uh, this is why I like chatting with other people lively, that way I'm more in tune with a conversation. I'm able to, well, understand what people want to chat about. Otherwise, I just start blatantly letting my mind wander and kind of like, be stupid minded, I guess, I don't know. But still. Something, something like that. That goes there, that goes there, I do that, and we gotta shoot. Oh no! If there's anything I hate, like any boss, it has to be the jellyfish. Even with this thing, it's super freaking annoying. Ow! The hardest part about this boss is that how you have to hide to actually be able to survive against this boss and every attack. Oh, died. Perfect. Ooh, jump boost! Woohoo! Jump boost works for every character, but, you know. Some more than others. I think. Um, jump boost would probably work best with maybe that robot. Like, to give him just a bit more mobility, especially if you can get like, maybe three of them, maybe four. I'd say five would make him near perfect, but like, you don't need any more than that. But that would be very expensive to have more than five types of those jumps on him. I say that. Ow. I would love to chase more of these guys off the mountain, but, you know, I can't constantly spam doing that. Plus, anyway, it saves your progress of that. Like, that's one of the missions that you could just do occasionally. Those are, like, one of the missions that you have to do in a row. At least I don't think so. The desert, yes. Here it is. So this is the desert. Um, this door doesn't automatically open, so you have to find practically. I certainly struggled on trying to find out how to unlock it, and like when I found the video, it was that even that wasn't even self-explanatory enough. 
uh, basically there's two pressure plates. So that's why you need the engineer. The engineer is vital for this one because you have whatever you have to deal with. Two pressure plates and you have to have the things on the pressure plates. That way you can you know get around the whole obstacle, what it is. Okay, and here's another interesting thing. When you have infusion, uh, it might be worth it to just destroy the barrels because, well, they count as an enemy kill and you get the, you get the help from it. Huh. Well, I'm happy that that didn't work, so I can just spam it again to get even more money. Whatever you guys get, like that whole thing where it doesn't work the first time, always do it again. Always. If less if you're like, I don't know, really low in health or you don't trust yourself enough. But still. By my rules, always do it. It's always worth it. For the extra money. If you're trying to like speed out of every area, then it makes it so easy. I think it's on I see you. As I said before in one of my or, uh, other videos, like my thing says as uh, my thing's like right over that record, like the difficulty number thing, so I can't really see what it's on. I, no, wait, it's saying I'm. I think it's saying uh, I'm coming for you, right? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I find that kind of difficulty scale kind of funny, honestly. Kind of like. I see you, I'm coming for you, it reminds me of just like Heavy Fruity Fortress a bit. I know so many games guys, definitely don't need a play, uh, I'll need whatever else this is. As long as it doesn't like, as long as it's not like, actually hiding in the same stuff, then I'll be fine. Ooh, banner. Banners are nice too. Like, banners are only really useful once you start getting a huge stack of them, per personally speaking. Because banners boost up everything your attack, your regeneration. I think it's regeneration, maybe. Uh, don't quote me on that. But, uh, basically. Oh, okay. Um, basically. It does help with like getting out that damage that you need. Oh, Beetle Queen. You know, having this thing makes it really nice, honestly, for this fight. Because I'm able to handle bosses so quickly. Surreal, another clip. And by the way, this was a terrible idea of what I just did. I activated this wall there's this whole town so Oh! That's cute! They updated how the thing looks. The uh, little portal oh, thing now. Uh, shield thing does. Like how it looks. Or it used to be like a little, like, uh, beacon little thing that just nailed itself into the ground. Get away, get away! Okay, 
another life lesson for this game. Um, it may be bad hopping out of the shield, yes, but the good news is it certainly helps getting out of the shield when you're trying to freaking survive. So, yeah, survival is always the best thing to go for. This should help, especially since they're all in one big group. What do you say, guys? Heck, um, tell me this, guys. If you would you rather just see the full run in like an entire video? I'm gonna do an entire video for this one until I die. But or would you rather me cut like if I'm doing really good on a run like this? Would you rather me cut it down and uh, just have me? Uh, do one bit there and one bit on the other side, on the other time, or you know what I'm saying. So those stingers. Literally, my best friend right now is my turret. They're the only thing that's going to actually keep me from dying in this. We only have two Solar Singers so far, which... Uh, it's not bad, but it's not good either. We still need a lot more Solar Singers if we're going to be able to survive with relative ease. Yeah, seeing this new map is slightly, like, it scares me very slightly, because, well, let's just say I fear the idea of, like, not knowing what new things could appear. And, like, that guy! <laughs> Speaking of which of you guys... Yeah, that field's big, but that's not big enough for me still. Like, my field has to be big enough to, like, cover an entire zone of, like, where the boss would be. For me to feel comfortable of... Uh... Oh, that was the, uh, Imp Overlord, wasn't it? I heard that roar. So far we're at... okay. Well, I guess we're gonna have to deal with this guy. This guy hurts. A lot. Kill 
Killing bosses that, you know, are around also give you a lot of money, too, if you look at my cash flow. Um, that's where, like, that skull gun comes in handy, but honestly, I can guarantee you guys, you don't want to use the gold gun if less you're, like, Unless you know how to money grind very, very well. Even I don't know how to money grind very well, and I've been playing this game for a while. Fireworks are really good. Good gun. Another very good item. Pickups. Gotta go fast, uh... That's also the best part about having that little feather jump. Just being able to do that. That tiny piece is always worth it. Oh, that was a good one. I'm gonna try and make a... Uh... No! I'm trying to get rid of my clips. Yes! I prefer them to get rid of my clips, but I also need more bleeding damage. Because if you guys seen the bleeding damage, it does a lot. What bleeding damage are we at? Seven. Uh, it does five damage or five to ten damage. Uh, quite a lot. Maybe seventy damage. We'll open this one and then we'll go right to the boss. There's an orb around this one. Okay, you're new. Hi. Okay, I'm not even gonna waste my time. I'm killing you. Normally it's good to experiment, but uh... Yeah. Uh... Did I really just kill these guys that quickly, though? Hooray. Ooh, there's the ice, so we got fire and ice now. I would like more of the ring, but still. Back him up a bit. I think they proc when, like, I think they proc when scouting. Yeah. Another thing is, I want a ton of the, uh, jeweled rock or whatever, that little turtle looking thing. Right next to the sunglasses and the necklace. Or the critical glass in the necklace, whatever you want to call them. Like, I don't have this handle, so. That's the best part about this. Like, you get enough damage done with your guns, literally, you're, you could be immortal in this game. So, this portal probably means I can escape. Which I'm gonna double check now. If I can escape, I'm just gonna escape and end the video, and then start another one up looking for the character still. We still haven't found the factory, though. Isn't that strange? Like, unless it's that new map is supposed to be, like, quote-unquote, the factory. But that doesn't make any sense, am I right? Or am I just going crazy? <laughs> what happened? Hello? Oh, uh, okay. I think they made that falling animation a little bit longer for just messing up. That's a lot of health though, guys. You see how much health that is? So yeah, this is what the end of the area looks like. 
you come to this, this thing would open up, you can leave and exit, so that's what I was going to do. Uh, then there's also that little portal down there. But yeah, we're going to exit. We survived, everybody. Hooray. So yeah, I'm going to end the video. I know this one was long, but still, I'm going to double check and see if there's any, like, other maps. If less of this is the only other one, I'm going to do some research before sending up my second video. Alright, this has been Cyber General, signing off.